Hello again, Guardians, and welcome back to the channel for another Destiny content related video. Now, in today's video, we're going to be going over that update that happened yesterday with the hard mode raid drop and all the changes in the tower and in the game itself. Now, if you guys haven't known the actual update and you didn't go over the actual update notes, this video is going to help you guys out the most. If you already know what the changes are and what's going on, then you might not have to watch this video. This is only strictly for the people that don't know what the changes are and what's going on. So going to the tower, the very first thing that's going to change is from the weekly update or what's going on is 15 silver dust inside of your postmaster. Really cool that Bungie did this. So just grab them and go spend them at the Tess Everest Trading Company on whatever you would like to purchase. Next big change, Guardians, is down in the Vanguard. If you go down there and you go to the Exotic Weapons Blueprints, you'll be able to go over to Bad Juju. That's the first gun we're actually going to take a look at. If you go and detail the preview of the perks, you'll notice two ornament slots are now available on Bad Juju. Hoon Doom and Dragon Bane. Dragon Bane changes the skull and puts a giant bony rib cage on the top of the weapon and turns it green. All around, looks pretty good. Then, if we go to the Hoon Doom, it turns it into a white and red voodoo symboled uh, design with some changes on what's wrapped around it, some more bones wrapped around it, and that looks really cool. It's actually my personal favorite. Uh, if you could actually get this version with the giant skull from the Dragon's Bane, I'd be really happy with that. Now, if you go into the weapons kiosk and you go through other weapons, there's four other weapons, which is going to be Last Word, Black Spindle, Red Death, and Thorn. If you actually go into these weapons and preview them in the details, then go over to the material details that are in the menu, you will notice that it's going to show two ornaments for each gun that actually is going to be available later from the Radiant Treasure Boxes. As of right now, the last word, we have no idea what the names are. We don't have no idea what the names are for the spindle. Or the thorn, I believe we do. We actually have the thorn names and what they look like, but we'll show that in the later part of the video. Then. We also have Black Spindle showing off ornaments that look like the Monte Carlo red and black one, and then one of the gold and black ones from pretty much Glow Moon. Red Death, though, we know has the White Witch and the Steel Witch. That's going to be really cool. Now to give you Guardians a sneak peek, the Rose of Corruption, which is an ornament for Thorn, looks like this. Now the screen picture is a little blurry because I didn't get a clear shot from it. This is actually coming from one of my fans. Now again, Guardians, the Rose of Acid for the Thorn Ornaments, here it is. It's actually a glowing green hue on the barrel and a glowing green marking on the handle. Really cool. And again, this is coming from one of my fans on Twitter. So thank you guys for the images. It was actually really cool to get a bunch of images from you lately and a bunch of news to actually report onto the channel. Next big change for the kiosks and changes in the tower are going to be a kiosk down by the speaker. It's going to be the Holidays Items kiosk that pops up. And pretty much if you go into it, it shows the masks from the Festival of the Lost Year 2. Festival of the Lost Year 2 was an event last year during the Halloween season. And as you can see, there's an exclusive ma mask from Year 2. There's a bunch of masks in the Mask section and Mask 2 section. And all these masks are now able to be dismantled out of your vault, saving you a lot of space. That's one problem during the Year 2 of Destiny and during King's Fall and Taken King. That was really a big problem. A lot of space was taken up from Festival of the Lost, from Guardians wanting to hold on to their masks as a symbol of them doing the actual event, and just something that was really fun to use inside a Crucible and really show off in the tower. And honestly, really nice change of me being able to wear my masks whenever I want, but still saving my inventory and my vault space. Now another change is going to be the Raisins from Year 2. Raisins from Year 2, if you had them, you could actually transfer them over to your Guardian, and a Grimoire card would pop up for Ascendant Raisins. Really cool. Thanks, Bungie. Another change in the reference to Festival of the Lost is the glue that was used to actually upgrade masks. The glue was actually a part of the upgrades material, and if you had them, you can actually dismantle them now for Silver Dust. One glue equals one Silver Dust. Now, Guardians, the next change is very minor, but it's going to help a lot of Guardians out there. Now, if you go to Tess Everest's Trading Company, you'll notice that Reputation Boosters for the Crucible, Vanguard, and House Judgment are now available to purchase with Silver Dust. You guys all did just receive 15 Silver Dust out of your Postmaster, so if you need to purchase these, go ahead and purchase them. It costs 5 Silver Dust to purchase a package. 
Out Guardians, one of the biggest updates is the Lighthouse. It is now a social space that can house nine Guardians that have successfully completed Trials Flawless and have gotten to Mercury Lighthouse and actually gotten rewards. You can all sit around, party, chat, and meet up with new friends that have also went flawless alongside you for the weekend. Now on top of all of that information and news and being able to go to the Lighthouse with eight other guardians and sit and chat around those are all really cool updates and honestly the lighthouse is one of my personal favorites but it's not the most important ones the most important ones are in reference to the raid and events that are going to get you to max light level of 400 so let's go over those first off there's new ghosts circling around archon's forge that are going to get you up to a higher light level around 390 to 400 light also the gear out of the actual archon's forge will award you with 385 gear Faction packages, Crucible packages, and also Vanguard packages will get you up to 390 light. Nightfalls will award you with brand new gear, reaching max light level of 400. And then there is also the Hard Mode Raid. Wrath of the Machine Hard Mode Raid is now officially launched. And if you go into the Wrath of the Machine Hard Mode Raid, complete it successfully, you will get new gear in the Hard Mode Raid style, along with attaching ornaments to that gear, and also reaching a max light level of 400. All of this stuff is going to award you greatly, Guardians, and if you guys actually successfully complete every single bit of this, you will reach the successful max light level of 400 and be one of the strongest Guardians in the game. Thank you all for watching this video. If this guide helped you a little bit, if this video helped you at all, drop a like, share with your friends, comment down below, and again, Guardians, if you wanna see more content, click on this image. This is going to be the PvP base structure of what I like to run inside of the Crucible, and honestly, I believe it's one of the most broken subclasses mixed with weapons and armor inside of the game so far. I also use this build in Trials, and it works out quite well. Now again, Guardians, I will see you all starside in the next video.